Landmark legislation voted on by the House within the hour. It's the Voting Rights Bill, H.R. 1, that would touch every aspect of the electoral process. Pushed by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and top Democrats, but opposed by top Republicans, including former Vice President Mike Pence, who penned an op-ed today. Republicans see this as limiting states' power over voting. And News Nation correspondent Michael Shore is live in Los Angeles with more on today's developments, Michael. Nicole, it is an exciting piece of legislation for Democrats. Not as exciting as being on early edition for the first time for me, but we'll get to that at another time. This legislation about voting rights is something, it's called the For the People Act. It's something that the very first act that this 117th House of Representatives put together. But of course, there's been so much that has happened before, uh, from COVID relief to impeachment, that this is something that they had to wait until now to do. Uh, the fact that the House is dealing with this, it's going to deal... Uh, uh, with all sorts of election transparency, making it easier to vote, uh, paper trail for paper ballots. It even has D.C. statehood in this bill. It's a massive bill, but of course, then it goes to the Senate where it may have trouble. House members, of course, divided along party lines. Every single Democrat is a co-sponsor of this bill. Uh, and here is a Representative Katie Porter talking about it, Mike Kelly, a Republican as well, pushing back on it. I'm very excited to pass H.R. 1. This is an incredibly important bill. It will help reduce the influence of money in politics, will help uh, increase the transparency and accountability in government, and help ensure every American's right to the ballot box. But I think we just came through a period of time when the American people really have a lot of doubts about our elections and how, how votes are counted and how votes are cast. And this just kind of amplifies that and says, well, we're going to make it even more difficult to believe in. Nicole, I was at CPAC, the uh, gathering of conservatives in Orlando last week, and everybody there was talking about election integrity, proving the integrity of the vote. And then you go to uh, speak to any Democrats on Capitol Hill or elsewhere, and they're saying they have to keep it easy to vote. Everybody must be able to have an easier time voting. Part of this bill is called the John Robert Lewis, named after former congressman and the late congressman John Lewis, uh, the John Lewis Voting Rights Extension Act. So you can tell that this is all about elections. Oh, Michael, absolutely. Now, how likely, based on what you just told us, do you think this is really to pass? Well, it's going to pass the House, there's no question, because every Democrat, like I said, every Democrat's a co-sponsor, so you presume that they're all going to vote for it. Then it runs into trouble water on the other side of Congress and the Senate. The Senate likely is going to have trouble with a lot of the provisions in this bill. I don't see it passing whole hog like it is right now. They're going to have to break it, uh, break it down. One congressman telling uh, News Nation today that they expect that the Senate's going to come up with their own bill, send it back to the House, and they'll see where they go from there, Nicole. All right, important information tonight. And Michael, great to have you on board with us.